Hey parents, how you doing? David here for another week looking at scripture, hoping that you're passing this on to your kids. Well, today we're going to look at one of the most famous Bible stories really ever. It's a really cute story. It's one that you all know you've you've learned about when you were kids, probably growing up in church if you did. And it's found in Genesis chapter 6 and 7. It's the story of Noah and the ark. It's the story of a man who finds animals two by two and they put them on a boat and they go sailing for about 40 days. And you, you remember, you've seen pictures of it where the animals are smiling and everyone's having a really good time. Well, the truth is, is that really there's nothing further from the truth that it's a cute little story. It's actually about God's judgment. It's a hard story. There's there's death and destruction, and God is is ultimately painting a picture that He cannot deal with with uh, sin. He He has to judge it. Yet He still continues to provide a way. He asked Noah to build a boat, and it took great faith from Noah. You know that the generations and folks around him were making fun of him and mocking him for doing so. But I think the interesting point of the story is found in chapter 7, in verse 16. I just want you to see this and pass this on to your kids. Maybe push them to see this as well. It says, They went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. See, I think that's the point of the story, is that it took great faith for Noah to build the ark, even when times were difficult. But salvation still didn't happen unless it was God's work. It's ultimately God who saves us, ultimately God who provides a way out. And he certainly does that for you and your kids. Works will never do it. It is by faith in God and letting him seal the ark or seal the work in your life with salvation. I hope this has been encouraging to you. Looking forward to being with you again next week. Have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.